Hello everyone. In previous video, we understand about the IAM user, IAM group, and IAM policy. In this particular video, we are going to discuss about AWS IAM role. AWS IAM role is one of the important topic from a data engineering perspective. So let us try to understand where actually we use the AWS IAM role. AWS IAM role generally we use whenever you have a two or multiple service in AWS account. I'm taking example. I have one of the service S3 service. If S3 wants to communicate with the EC2 service, then we have to create one IAM role. Similarly, if multiple services, if they want to communicate with each other in AWS account, then we have to come, we have to create one AWS IAM role and we, then only they will be able to communicate with each other. This kind of the thing generally helps whenever we create a pipeline. In the pipeline scenario, generally you will see you are using a multiple AWS services and then you have to assign a particular policy for that. So in that kind of the scenario, we try to create a role so that they can communicate with each other. For taking example, data in a Amazon S3. Suppose I have data in available in Amazon S3. What actually I am doing, I am using AWS Glue activity to copy this data into the RDS instance. So I have one, one RDS DB. I want to copy a data from Amazon S3 to the RDS DB. Okay and how actually it should trigger this aws glue activity it should be triggered through a lambda function so this is how my data pipeline looks like i want to transfer my data from amazon s3 to the rds db through a aws glue activity and uh, this aws glue activity should be triggered via lambda function so in this case if you will see amazon s3 has to communicate with the aws glue and AWS Glue has to communicate with Lambda function then only they will be able to communicate with each other right so in this kind of the scenario generally we use a AWS IAM role so whenever the multiple service they want to communicate with each other then then we generally use a AWS IAM role I hope you got idea let's start doing a practical let me show you how actually we can do so I will search for the IAM here this is IAM if you will see in the left side we have a role this is the IAM role click on the role now you can see by default the multiple roles are already defined for the admin we have one role similarly for the multiple services it, it was already defined but if you want to create a role for that what you have to do you have to click on the create role click on the AWS service and after that what actually you want to do you can see use cases allow an AWS service like EC2 Lambda or other perform action in this account so suppose I will take example for the EC2 instance okay I will select the EC2 instance click on the next now what actually I want to do I want to communicate this EC2 instance with my S3 bucket so I will assign one policy for the Amazon S3 full access click on the next I will assign one group I will give name as a EC2 S3 role something EC2 S3 role this is the new role I am creating and you can see we have access for the Amazon S3 full access now if I will click on the create role so this is how one role got created now if I will search into this role go to this role we have created one new role EC2 S3 role if I will click here now you can see Amazon S3 full access means whenever you will create a EC2 instance you can assign a you can use this IAM role so that they will be able to communicate with the S3 so like that so if you have a scenario where the multiple service they want to communicate with each other so what actually we have to do we have to create a role this we will see more in the practical of the AWS glue where actually we will try to create a multiple pipeline and we will try to understand more about this I hope you got overall idea how actually AWS IAM role works